Hello, in this video I will showcase a few battles from a streak of 15 wins in a row at rank 11 and 12 in day 4 of season 6. The team I use is a two of the same type in the back structure with Tropius and double tanks. First up is Oscar Astro and this is game number 7 of the win streak and he leads with Shadow Victory Belt. So this is a great lead for me since Tropius uh, has a much higher total damage output. So it will beat the uh, Shadow Victory Belt even though the typings are equal. Uh, and my opponent say, switches into a Galarian Stunfisk and that's great for me because then my backline doesn't have to face a Galarian Stunfisk with an energy advantage. So I play this in the same way as I play a Galarian Stunfisk lead with Tropius. I uh, shield twice and they are also forced to shield twice if they want to have a chance of taking me down. Uh, but then on the fourth rock slide I will catch it with my own Galarian Stunfisk. Uh, and so by doing that I basically waste the entire rock slide. So now I have pretty much KO'd his uh, Galarian Stunfisk but my Tropius is still at half health. So at this point I'm in a big advantage and here I'm throwing rock slides because I don't know when he's going to throw his Hydro Pump. So I don't want to go for the Earthquake and uh, waste energy if he throws it just before I reach the Earthquake. And the difference in DPE between Rock Slide and Earthquake is not that big. So I managed to land three Rock Slides before the Hydro Pump came. And here, since the Azumarill only has 25 energy, it is in farm down range for Bastiodon, uh, which I wanted to have a slight energy advantage on so that I could finish the Shadow Victory Bell with a flamethrower, but uh, it's still no big deal because uh, Bastiodon can tank a Leaf Blade no problem. So here it takes out the Shadow Victory Bell and Tropius can finish the game. Next up is someone's main account because that's for sure not their alt account and they lead with Shadow Victory Bell so that's a great lead and they safe switch into Vigoroth immediately. So this is a positive matchup, but I have to save my Tropius with quite a bit of health and uh, preferably also a shield in case they have a uh, Mud Boy or another fighter in the back. So what I'm going to do is I will let the first Body Slam through and then I will shield the second one and put the uh, Vigoroth low enough for Bastiodon to farm down and then the third Body Slam I will catch it with, with Bastiodon and the Body Slam isn't dealing any damage at all and these counters are not doing that much either. So now by saving my uh, Tropius with some health and a shield I have more versatility against stuff that counters uh, Bastiodon and Galarian Stunfisk. But he comes back in with the Shadow Victory Belt and at this point it's very likely that he has a Bastiodon in the back because that's a, a fairly common line. So I put the Victory Belt low enough uh, so that I can uh, farm down with the Galarian Stunfisk and then uh, I have a shield and a leaf blade in the back ready but it is a Bastiodon so I'm not going to have to use any of them because an earthquake will be able to pretty much take the entire Bastiodon out. And at this point I have 11 straight wins and I'm about to hit rank 12 so I will just show it really quick before we jump into the next battle. So here we go against Shez Kevin and he leads with Shadow Aerodactyl and this is a fairly neutral matchup if you remember from the Flying Cup but I can't afford my Tropius to go down so I switch into Galarian Stunfisk uh, and it's good that I did because that Hitmonchan would have swept my backline uh, but instead I'm going to reach an Earthquake and he doesn't shield for some reason because I guess he has a very glassy team so he wants to save the shield and uh, at this point I know that I can have Bastiodon against his Aerodactyl instead of Tropius, so I am in a very good position. I will just have to put this uh, Victory Bell as low as possible, but when he uses an Acid Spray I switch into Bastiodon instead, and he realizes it's over. Next up is Publitude, and this is game number 15 of the win streak, and he leads with Surfetched. So this is a great lead for me and he banks one charge move before switching out and then uh, he switches into Pelipper and this is still a very good position for me. So I'm going to shield Tropius here since I know that Tropius is very good against his team uh, so I want to keep it healthy. And then my opponent's switch timer is still up so when I see that he sends in Alolan Marowak I immediately switch into Bastiodon and this is basically 
just to uh, put the Alolan Marowak in uh, rock slide range for Galarian Stunfisk later in the game. And then my opponent catches the rock slide on Surfage perfectly, uh, and then he can farm down. So now this Surfage has a ton of energy, at least two Night Slashes, and I really hope that he does not have Brave Bird here, because then I straight up lose the game. Uh, but I call the Night Slash, and then here comes another Night Slash, and I cannot shield, because I need my shields for Galarian Stunfisk against his Alolan Marowak. So here I'm just guessing that it's a third uh, Night Slash, and then I can farm down. And now it's just a race of who can reach two charge moves first. So I let him throw first, because uh, now I'm two away, and then I can use one more uh, mud shot before using my rock slide to not get piggybacked. And then I'm just before to the second rock slide, before he reaches another charge. Lastly, I want to show how I lost the win streak against Nobuyuki Arisaka, and she leads with Azumarin. So at first, I think I'm in a good position, and she switches into Rapidash, so I'm still in a very good position. Uh, and I'm not going to shield the first one, since a drill run will not take me out, but the second charge will take me out after a flame charge. So I'm forced to shield this, even though it wasn't a drill run, uh, it should have been a drill run. So, uh, But here is the problem, that my opponent has two water types in the back. I expected the Azumarill to come back in, but at this point this Whiskash can charge up 100 energy. And since my Bastiodon is switch locked, I can't do a single thing against it, and I only have one shield for Tropius. So suddenly, even though I have a Razor Leafer against two water types, both of these water types have ice type moves, which are pretty much one-shotting Tropius. So uh, I basically have no play left. I have to connect with an Earthquake on Whiskash in some way, and I don't know how. So I will overcharge a ton, and then as soon as I see the switch, I tried to go for the Earthquake, since uh, I hoped that he thought that he caught a Rock Slide, but uh, yeah, there is no, no winning play once the Earthquake is shielded. So very well played by my opponent, with a kinda unorthodox team. Uh, but that's it for this video, uh, 15 straight wins with this tanky total damage output team, and thanks for watching.